What's up, Marvel Snappers? Today we have a new featured location, Morag, which says you cannot play your first card each turn here. Now this is gonna have some deck building implications as you can't rely on just playing large cards. If you wanna get a card into Morag, you're going to need some cheaper cards to play first. Now for those of you that don't know, featured locations will appear in 40% of games for the next 48 hours. So this won't appear in every game, but you're gonna wanna be prepared for it. We're gonna go over some of my initial ideas for cards that should be effective, and hopefully this gives you somewhere to start with your deck building. Starting with some Series 1 cards, Nightcrawler can be an effective tool for getting into this location since you're free to just move it into there. Another card that could be effective is White Tiger, who can put the 7 power Tiger Spirit into another location, and you combine this with an Odin, and you have some pretty good odds of getting large power into Morag, which will typically be hard to do. Moving into Series 2, Vision is going to work similar to the Nightcrawler, but be a much larger body and be a great way to get some power into Morag. Killmonger stock should also be even higher than normal, since 1 cost cards are going to be a great way to fulfill the condition of Morag, so you can put an additional card there, and Killmonger will just clean up the board if anyone's trying to play too many of them. Moving into Series 3, you can also potentially disrupt your opponent using a card like Polaris to pull a card that the opponent did successfully stick into Morag out, making it harder for them to get additional power there. Arrow is going to be very similar and can really disrupt the opponent from successfully putting anything into Morag. Doctor Doom should also be phenomenal as a way to get power into that location while also putting decent bodies into the others with the Doom bots. And lastly, a way to get some massive power into Morag is to utilize Artem Zola, who will destroy a card from another location and put it into the other two, and might be the best way to put large numbers into Morag. There'll be plenty more cards that end up working really well for this location, but hopefully this gives you a starting place. As always, if you have any questions or feedback for me, make sure to leave those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.